This is a people's budget. This is putting people first, sir. This is putting hope back into the people in the Cayman Islands, sir. The park government understands the critical importance of that modern high-speed cable infrastructure. The intention of the government is to implement a submarine cable modernization project that provides a new, resilient, redundant infrastructure that supports the island increasing independence on high service. The government has earmarked funds for this project, Mr. Speaker, and my ministry is committed to ensuring its timely delivery to this island. This park government supports its people. We invest in our people. Mr. Speaker, when the rest of them don't want to invest in them, and they only cater to the elite and don't worry about nothing else, that's why we're here. That's why we're standing up here today. He will square upgrade, have started the process of phase two in August. The works include paving of the pedestrian crossing, installation of urban street lamps, new flagpoles, mature trees for shading, and parks close to the post office at Cardinal Avenue. Mr. Speaker, the next one is a very close one to me too. I know it's it very close to my friend, my colleague, my brother. Mr. Speaker, that's the Scranton Park. But Mr. Speaker, one thing I can tell you, I am committed as my good friend from Georgetown Central to see this park completed under this administration. Part that these people have been asking for for decades. So a part that's been back and forth, back and forth, but hasn't got anywhere. We hear the people calling. We, we have to listen to our people. Mr. Speaker, if we don't listen to our people, who, what, who are we here for? Who are we here for? For ourselves? I bet you're in election time. Come around here, brother, listen to them, though. I bet you're trying to listen. They won't go and sit down near mama front door then. But no, it only gets to that election time when some people know people. Well, I can tell you, Mr. Speaker, the people have been calling for that, and we plan to deliver that. So, Mr. Speaker, we talk about it. Every government talks about it. They want to revitalize Georgetown. But as far as we have gotten out, what this government has really done. Plans are in place to move forward with a national community enhancement. Nice project for December the 6th to the 23rd. It is important that we put the people to work. The program also says us, tells us something, that we have left some of our people behind. This program has run between 700, five to 700 people every year. But Mr. Speaker, you also know that that tells me that them five to 700 people, we forgot them. Because it's time for us to go back now and to make sure that them five to 700 people have jobs because they should not be rolling over every year, sir. And if that is the case, we need to fix it. I want to see these people have a full-time job, sir. A full-time job. Mr. Speaker, when you take away everything from the children, sir, idle hands become the devil's playground. So when we look around, Back in our days, we had the hot, we had the, the, the race track in East End. It was only fitting for it to go back up there, sir. This park government now can move forward with, with the leasing and, and pushing to see that the Hot Rod Association actually gets their track done on the eastern side of the island. But not only the race track, sir. We used to have a lot of sports things, activities going around for the kids. I mean, we had the jet around, came on. Where has that gone to, sir? Eastern Surf Challenge, sir. Was a huge thing to the eastern side of the island. Yeah. I am working hard to see and to make sure that I know that this jet around, came on, will come back. Because we need our children to be, able to, to be able to do something, sir. To be able to be involved in something. Not just walking up and down the streets and can't find nothing to do. Mr. Speaker, so now that we moved off with the hot rod, the jet around came on, 
that's so that the, the boys can actually get going and the kids can know that there is some hope in that pipeline for them to see activities coming back, especially coming back to the eastern side of the island. Mm -hmm. This is what investing in your people sounds like, Mr. Speaker. This is what we're here for. This is what the PAC government is here for. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.